You're watching DVTV, North Texas's leading source for online LGBT video. Hey everyone, this is Gus Klein with another episode of DVTV. Today we are inside of Monica's at Ciudad, where Ciudad is closing at the end of the month. But we've got a few minutes to visit with Monica and what she's got in stock for the future and some of the patrons around her. So let's go visit with them real quick and, and see what the next game plan is. to or you know what a siesta is and you, you know how to live that way so when we're talking about the restaurant business and the different restaurants you've owned do you kind of think you you've sold yourself a little bit to the american imperialism kind of thing and i mean in america we're so competitive we i have a big saying here in dallas you know what do you do here in dallas well you go to work you go to sleep and when you're off you go shopping you go to a restaurant or go to the movies and what else you know, there's not much else to do. And uh, there are people that are working so hard next to you if you work in an office that you have to be able to compete with that. And in the restaurant business, I live in the most aggressive and competitive business in the city. In the, and for the nation, probably, yes. for that matter. We're the second largest employer after the U.S. government. I don't participate in the restaurant business and as a service industry. I live in the hospitality business, meaning that everybody provides service, some kind of service, and there may be a restaurant down the street that provides equal service like I do, or better, sometimes worse, but we live with the service business. I do hospitality, so from the moment I answer the phone, I have to be better than the person next door. When you come in and you have dinner, I have to call you back the next day to make sure you enjoy your service. I have to remember your day or your birthday and what kind of flavor uh, wine do you like or things like that. That's hospitality. I have to be able to, to do much, much better than just pure service. We'll miss the patio. We'll miss how friendly Monica is. We'll miss how friendly all the bartenders are, how they remember your drinks, they remember what you like to eat. Um, <laughs> everything. We hope that she opens up another restaurant very close, like uh, next door. <laughs> and we hope that Monica's um, in Deep Elm uh, is still going on and we hope they don't close down. Uh, I've been here for almost seven years and uh, been a business partner to Monica Green for two. So uh, I am going to take a little bit of Ciudad to Monica's Akeyaya on Sundays. The brunch that is so fantastic and amazing here is going to be at Monica's starting September the 9th. So come see me, see the staff that you've loved and you've loved for years over at Monica's on September 9th. And from there on, you'll see us wherever because we're not gone yet. <laughs> Retirement is not possible, not, not only because I'm so busy emotionally, intellectually, but because I really enjoy what I do. I like people, I like my job, I like the food that I work with, and I love the environment that, that sometimes I, I help create. And the people that I work with is the one thing that is the most important thing for me. Obviously, customers serve as a banner for, to be able to have that balance. But we couldn't do it without employees, you know. You have to be able to have that. And I have some good ones. All right, folks, that's it from Ciudad, Monica's Ciudad. But if you'd like to find out a little bit more about Monica's or the 75-cent margarita night at Acayaya, visit monicas.com. And if you have any entertainment news you'd like to submit or have us attend, please drop us an email at dvtv at dallasvoice.com. From Ciudad, DF, I'm Gus Klein. Have a great day.